Oh, hello, Auli. How are you? Very, very good. Thank you, Caesar. Please take a look at my new rug. I mean, my new carpet. Carpet? Ali, that looks a lot like a rug. Is it a rug? No, 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 Caesar. It's a carpet. I promise you, very, very safe. Hop on. I can show you the world. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're on Binance and Ethereum. Okay, we're going to be doing a s strange video. I'm not going to be talking about a protocol today. I'm going to be talking about how to use the scan. So Etherscan and Binance Smart Chain Scan. Now I'm going to tell you everything that I know, but I'm going to tell you a few tips, things that most people should know how to do and see how it goes. Now, tomorrow I'm going to start my Chinese New Year holiday. I live in Asia, so Chinese New Year is our national holiday instead of Christmas and New Year's and all that. So I'll be kind of ghosting and I won't be producing any videos for the next week or so. So this will be the last one. However, if you do want to talk to me, you can always talk to me on Telegram. And I've also made a new Discord channel here and you can come here and join me there and join that community there and talk to some great people who know a lot about cryptocurrencies. If you need some help, we can help you or if you just want to talk about stuff in here. OK, so links are in the description as well. So the topic for this video came out of this news here. And basically what this is, I'm going to just give you a quick gist is that it's a rug pull. Um, this popcorn, popcorn swap, they built up a protocol, they got people to deposit money into it and then they shut down the website and siphoned all the cash out so by shutting down the website then pe most people cannot get their money out right because they there's no use user interface there's no button to click and stuff like that to withdraw your money so they were able to pull out about i think two million dollars worth of assets and you know it's a scam it's a rug pull right so this is the main reason why i'm making this video but i thought i would give you a couple more tips so I'm going to show you how to pull out of contracts using Etherscan or Binance Smart Chain Scan. So let's swing over there now. So here is Etherscan and here is Binance Smart Chain Explorer or Binance Smart Chain Scan. Now, as you can see, they are quite literally identical. You know, just coloration changes and small little things, right? Because it's a fork, right? So they work almost exactly the same. So today I'm going to be using Binance Smart Chain only because the gas is so much cheaper and I can actually not worry about how much it costs me to actually do any kind of transactions in here. So I can do them and re reverse them for a couple cents, right? So that's why I'm going to use this. But the, the, the features are the same. So you can do the same thing on Etherscan if you're on Ethereum using some protocol that you feel is a little bit risky, but you want to take advantage of it. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the features I commonly use on Binance Smart Chain. So I made a video with this guy's wallet before. He's one of the whales out here in Binance Smart Chain. So you can Click your wallet in here. Now, if you don't know how to get your wallet address, just go to your MetaMask, click here and stick it in there, right? So this is this guy's wallet. He has $339 worth of tokens. Now this is not actually accurate. Like uh, some tokens that he will have inside his wallet are not, they don't have a accurate price feed in here. But if you click here, then you can see all the, the wallets that he does have or the tokens he does have in his wallet. And there's quite a few, but, uh, I think that's useful. Um, you can click your address here if you need, you know, you could copy your address here. Um, mostly I use this for two things and that is this button here. And before I go to this button, I will talk about down here. I usually like to look at the transactions I used to do. You can click here and you can see basically what, what did you do last time and basically the flow of things, you know, who you interacted with and so forth, which is quite useful. And sometimes you will need these contract numbers to do some of the, you know, the interactions that I'm going to show you later. So another great thing is down here, you can see the transaction fee, the actual gas that you were charged for, um, for doing the, this transaction that you performed and you know how much the price of BNB was at that time. So you can get a good accurate idea of how much it costs you. And remember, if this was an ether scan, this would be ETH and this would give you an actual price in US dollars of ETH. And this would give you the actual price of ETH at that time. So this is also great to use because if you're really you know trying to pinch the pennies and watch the gas, this is actually 100% accurate. 
So let's go back. So here are some, this one's also quite useful. The, in uh, Etherscan, it'll say ERC20 tokens, but BEPT tokens. This can kind of show you, you know, what tokens have come in and out of this contract wallet. So you can use this to kind of guess at what things are, what, what's happening inside contracts and so forth. But uh, let's go here. So click this. Now, in my opinion, this is a much easier and user user friendly way to see what's inside your wallet instead of the opening up metamask and going to assets and adding your assets all in here and so forth i don't really like to do this because as you can see you know i uh, there's so many assets in here that i in and out it's kind of hard but this is quite easy easy you know you can see quantity you can see everything you need and it's quite good so you can go down and see all the assets and make it 100 per page and down, 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 you'll see, see here, this is where he's starting to get tokens that have no value, right? So these are the ones that are like LP tokens or share tokens for volts. These are all like beefy finance share tokens. So they don't keep the value in here. They don't, they don't calculate the value inside the scan, but you can see what's there and you can do this kind of thing. So this is kind of basically what I use this for is just to see which tokens I have in my wallet. And that's pretty much it. So let's swing over to how we can use it to protect us from rug pulls. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Beefy Finance to show you what I normally would, what you can do with the Etherscan or the Binance Smart Chain Scan. So if we go to e B Beefy Finance and we click on this stats, we end up on this dashboard page, okay? And it basically shows you a whole bunch of stats about Beefy's Finance, but here is a list of all the contract addresses of all the different vaults that you could possibly interact with with Beefy Finance. Now Beefy Finance is good in this sense, they give this list of volts right now. Now, I don't know why these, these feeds are not accurate, but who cares? This is what we want. We want these contract codes here. So you want to find the ones that you are working with. Now, let's say if you were on some other protocol, now like say AutoFarm, this is a new protocol coming out. It's kind of sketchy in a sense. It doesn't look so great. And you know, you wonder about whether or not it's safe or not. But let's say if I wanted to, you know, just try it, I wanted to put some money into this vault, I could come in here and you know, find the address, they actually have the contracts right here. So you could click on this as well. So let's go back to the beefy one. Now, some protocols will not have these displayed. You'll have to ask around, you'll have to get the, co the code from them and verify that way. Um, let's go down one that I actually have, this one here. I have some drugs in this drug version two volt that I have no worry about losing. So we're gonna play with this one. So let's click this and you can see this link takes me to the Binance Smart Change scan. And here is that same number that was here. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention here, I'm gonna to try to just jump through a few things that are important here and not go over everything. One thing I wanna mention here is that this is the token tracker. So this is kind of an indication that you're in the right place. You see it says Moo Drugs Gun. This is a token that they're going to give you when you deposit your funds into this contract. So most contracts that you deposit funds into give you back a token as a placeholder so that they know you own a certain share of this vault. And this kind of that needs to have a token tracker. It needs to have a token here. So this will give you a help, help you to indicate that you're in the right place, you're on the right contract, and this is the one you want to interact with. Another way you can check to make sure is that you can go to the BEPT tokens, and you can see the tokens that are coming in and out of this vault. Now a vault is like a box. It doesn't do anything. It takes volts. It takes you know tokens in and you know lets you take tokens out. Now if you want to know what they're doing with the tokens, you need to go to contract and you need to go to read and then you come down to strategy 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 which it should be here so you can click this and open it now some you know some contract builders they will not actually put this here and you won't be able to find this here but you know you can look for it and see if it's there so you click on strategy and they might label it something else they might just put six two nine seven three nine five and it's their special code to like oh it's to the strategy right but most of the time they like to keep it fairly simple and straightforward. So you can go over here and now I'm on the strategy. What they're going to do, you go to BEPT tokens and you can see all kind of what they're doing. You can kind of guess what the, uh, the strategy is doing by based on where the tokens are going and where they're coming from instead of trying to understand completely. Okay. So back to the vault. So this kind of, this, read section here kind of basically allows you to pull data from the contract. So just, you want to see some information about this, this contract. You can ask things, you know, you can, it's basically ask the contract for some questions and they will tell you the answers. 
Okay, but that's not what we want to do today. We want to write the contract. So the first thing you want to do, you come here and this will say unconnected or connect and you'll need to connect and it'll pop up your MetaMask and you'll need to say yes, connect please. And then you will see, oh, look, I'm connected. Okay, so this will be red or orange. I can't believe, I can't remember. Anyhow, so and say unconnected. So you'll need to connect your wallet here. And then you can go down through here and here are all the functions, the things that you can actually tell the contract to do and what we're going to do today is we're going to withdraw. So in BV Finance, in this contract writers, they actually have withdraw all and withdraw. So we're, today we're going to use withdraw all just so I don't leave any pennies laying around or, or in, but some contracts, they won't have withdraw all. They'll only have a certain amount and they might not even call it withdrawal, but you can kind of figure it out. All right. So let's test it first. Okay. Let's go write this. Then it pops up my MetaMask, asks me to pay this gas. So I'm going to pay the gas and I wait for the confirmation. And here's my confirmation. So let's go back to the actual app and see if it has changed. Yep. See, boop. Now I have my drugs out of this vault. Now, if I want to put them back in, I can use the UI or I can go back to the contract here and I can find deposit. Now here's deposit here and deposit all. Like I said, I don't want to have any pennies left around. So I'm going to write this and stick all of them inside. So again, pay this gas. Now this gas is the same as if I were to use the actual UI and confirmed. Let's go back to here and see if it swings over. It should swing over in a bit of time. See, done inside. So it's inside now. So now <clears throat> why is this important? This is the contract, like the way to interact with the actual contract. And you know, when somebody builds a contract and puts it on the blockchain, for the most part, they don't have any more control over it. They can't change anything. So they can do these functions just like anybody else, but usually they can't do any, you know, they can't erase it. Okay. However, this website here is actually bought and paid for by Beefy's finances. So they use their, I guess their treasury to pay for this website or their own funds or whatever. And they own this and they have con complete control over this. So they can turn this off. They can, you can just turn this off and they will have 404 error. You come to this website and be like, Oh no, I can't get it. You know, I can't use it. I'm not too worried about Beefy finance, but other websites, you know, have done this in the past. People go to get their funds out and then it's like the website's down, but they can't close this down. So you can come here and interact with this and try to pull your funds out in a sense. Now there are a lot of other functions in here. And if this were, you know, this is a straight, you know, single asset vault. If this was an LP vault, then you'd have a little bit harder time like this one. You'd have to pull out of this vault in this contract. You'd have to find this contract on beefy finance, pull out of that. Then you'd have to go to trap house and pull out of that one. But hopefully both of these, in this case, they are two different, um, two different protocols. So hopefully both of them aren't done at the same time, but so you, you might not have to use the contracts for both of them, but you get the point. It's a lot more complicated. Like actually dismantling an LP is a lot more complicated than just depositing and withdrawing from a vault. So you have to go through the functions here and figure out which ones do which. Okay. So I hope this is helpful and I hope this saves you a big hassle or a big scare in the future and helps you to avoid a little bit of a rug pull. Okay. And, you know, be safe and take care of yourself. And you know, hello, thank you so much for watching. And um, if you'd like to support the channel, there are a few ways you can help me out a lot. Number one is I have a Gitcoin grant. This is a pretty unique way to help out. Basically the way this, this system works is if you supply me with any kind of donation, then the protocol itself will also match your donation with like an increasing amount, the more and the more the people donate to me. So for example, if you were to give me one die, the protocol will give me four die, which is great. You know, so your one die can go a long way. So please feel free to come here and check this out. You know, link to this will be in the description. Another way you could support me is by going to Y gift link in the description. And here, this, where this says collect for me, it would say tip, you tip this and uh, you could give me some YUSD if you want. And uh, that would definitely help me out quite a bit. Um, another way you could support me is you could check out my rareable store and purchase an NFT. Now the best kind of support is just you watching my videos and liking them and subscribing. So if you did that, thanks so much for doing that and uh, goodbye.